Clarence, Clarence, wait, wait a minute. Whoa, where's my car? I, I left it right have, here. You don't have a car, George. I left a big gash in that tree there. No, it didn't, George. You don't have a car because you were never born. Hey, th this is supposed to be Martini's place. Martini doesn't live around here, George. No one remembers you. This is the world if you had never lived. When a man isn't around, he leaves an awful hole, doesn't he? Take me home, Clarence. You don't have a home. The old Granville house is still in shambles. You never fixed it up. Yes, I did. I live in that house. No. Listen. You don't exist. <laughs> so, you don't live in that house. You don't live anywhere because this is the world if you'd never lived. Get it? My own mother didn't know me, Clarence. Jesus Christ, George, what are they saying you're not getting? Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, you wished you were never born, remember? So, I made your wish come true. So, you were never born, your mother isn't your mother, you never saved your brother Harry's life. Yes, I did, Harry was a war hero. He saved all the men on that transport. Those men are dead, George. They're dead, all of them are dead. You weren't there to save Harry, so he wasn't there to save them. They're dead, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please don't kill yourself, I'm sorry. Hey, where's the building and loan? Why would there be a building and loan? There's no one to run it. Well, I run it. But God, God damn, you. I'm sorry, George. You have a wonderful life, you have value, you have friends. Please don't commit suicide. Clarence? Yes? Where's my wife, Mary? You don't have a goddamn wife! <laughs> yes, I do. We, oh, we went for a walk right there after the dance when I, when I lassoed the moon. You never lassoed a moon! You never lassoed a moon, not in this reality or the other one. Okay. I'm gonna explain this again. Let me know where I lost you. You wished you were never born. So I made take your wish come true with my angel powers, right? So this is an alternate reality I'm using as a storytelling device where you've never lived. You never saved your brother's life as a kid. You never stopped the drunk pharmacist from poisoning that child. You never had a family, you never got married, and you never had your kids. This town is called Pottersville. No, no, I, I stopped Mr. Potter from- shut, 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 shut up, shut up, shut your mouth. We're done. You don't exist, all right? Nothing exists that you have ever done, all right? Hey, wh wh where's Zuzu's pedal? There's no goddamn Zuzu! Uh, oh. I can hear out of my left ear. Well, what do you know about that? You know what? It's not worth it. This is not worth my wings, all right? I'm taking it all back. Everything's back to normal. You exist now. Everything's back to normal. It's fine. Everything, forget everything I said. George? George, is that you? Bert, you, you know me, Bert? Well, of course I know you, George. You're a liar. You don't know me because I don't exist. Isn't that right, Clarence? Jump off the fucking bridge. <laughs>